All right, so in this episode, we're gonna look at how to calibrate Vibe Tracker and get that sorted out. So, but first, I need to get some image on my onboard monitor. So I go back to the to the root folder, and then I add a video device out and choose which output. And it's probably I think it's the number two. I have to check, and then just map the out to that output on the card and let's see if we have some picture we did not we did not let's see if it could be a uh, number three let's have a look and we got picture so basically i want one more for my monitor so let's add could that be number four, maybe? Or number one? Number one. Now we got picture over there too as well. So that's great. Uh, let's go to uh, the inputs and input one. So you need to go up here to uh, first set your inputs. Uh, this was already saved and then you select the correct tracker which is this way in, in my way I'm gonna reset the tracking data the manual zoom and the manual focus so the manual zoom is about here or something so uh, in this case you probably need someone to uh, help you so, Joachim, could you help me? Do you have time? Absolutely. It's going to be quick. So, you need someone sitting here and one over at the camera. We're going to do some moves to, get, to understand where, uh, where we are. Hello, Joachim. You can go over to the camera. Uh, and I, wanna, I want you to perform some moves. Uh, we're going to find out the delay and the lens. And yes, you can measure it, but I found this to be so much quicker uh, doing it like this, uh, for me at least. So let's first try to find uh, the zoom lens. Uh, so how do we do that? Pan left and right. So now, now we're in the ball plank. Not perfect. We're gonna find out the delay first. So if you go, if you go like this, and stop, and back and stop, so I can see which ever is moving, moving faster. Because uh, the tracking data is coming in faster than the camera feed. So you need to delay the camera tracking delay. So keep doing that, and I will just keep dragging this number up until we have. You know, it's good to do this stuff uh, several times because I remember that you need to go to preferences, rendering, and change your frame rate. That's the shockness you see. Uh, this fooled me many times when I restarted Axiometry. So change it to 25p or whatever, whatever frame rate your project should be in. Uh, so now, uh, if I if you can you can see yeah now it's pretty much in sync i don't know if eximit is doing something but it's pretty close uh, and then we need to start looking at the lens so w what i do here is if you can just move around the camera And we probably need to change the billboard is look at camera. Let's change that. So you can see how the billboard is made up here. That's the billboard. Uh, so I'm gonna rotate the billboard a bit. And I'm gonna move it. Do 
this is a confusing so now I think it's pretty close So basically, this is what I do. And I think it, this is good enough for me. And uh, as you could tell, I didn't do anything with the wipe tracker. It just worked. Uh, but uh, let's go to the studio. And the studio is quite interesting. Uh, let's, uh, this is the kind of the mask of it. Uh, as you can tell, you use these sliders. Just gonna try green left, green floor, front wall. So this is the the mask of the studio, and you just tinker with it uh, until you get it right. And it feels like this is right for the studio. It doesn't need to be excite or perfect. So that's pretty much it. I don't know what more to tell you. Uh, now it's calibrated, you can open up your Unreal project. So basically, if I open up Unreal project, project, uh, I can do whatever here. Uh, let's add a cone and maybe a point light. Let's add a red point light, see if it's... And then we need to build it again. And then you cook it again, after the build is ready, then it should pop back right in. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and now you can notice that the, uh, the billboard isn't receiving any light, so you need to put on this little thing, light. Now you got light on it, and maybe cast shadow. So the shadow is a bit tricky. Uh, you, you need to align it yourself and it depends really on a bit of the rotation and such so it's it's something I need to look further into but uh, if you pan around yeah can you see you on your monitor you don't have a monitor Uh, now this is a pretty easy scene, but sometimes you uh, install a scene where you uh, don't want to uh, be at the place where the camera starts. So then you just push the scene button here over here, and then you can move move around in the scene. Uh, and you, of course, you need to move the billboards as well. Uh, so. The billboard is stationary there, but we need to move the billboard where you want it to be. And this is something I'm still trying to figure out how to do in the best way. As you can see, the shadow is off. And you can usually look at camera for different stuff. But this is the new version of Eximetry with billboard enabled. Uh, so maybe I should do another video of showing you how to do it the regular old way. Let's do that. Next video, showing you how to do this without billboards, which is pretty much a little bit easier. So I guess you will have a lot of comments. I try to be in the comments and answer, uh, but it's, uh, it's a start for you guys to get into Eximetry. So I hope you learned something. Thank you. And uh, next clip coming up, right? Do you have time? Yeah. You have time? We do it quick.